What's going on guys? This is Cam from Solvex Media and in today's video, we're gonna be tearing apart this company called Clogang.com. They got one board game, one offer, one message, one audience. And if we can dial in with some of the suggestions I make in today's video, they're gonna see a radical increase when it comes to their conversion rates, a massive decrease when it comes to their customer acquisition costs and an overall increase in their average order value. So let's break this website down step by step. Now it's important to note, this is a company that's spending big dollars on advertising. So obviously something's working by the looks of it. This is a landing page slash website. It's, it's a mess. I don't know what the thought process was, but you can see they have one buy box, which is great. Simply emphasizing, we got one offer for you guys and one offer only. So there's not a lot of misdirection in terms of what people need to do as that next step. I like how the menu bar does not have any other options. It's like, guys, act now. Maybe just pushing the logo up here, removing the search bar because there's nothing people are gonna be searching for. We're talking about one specific offer and one offer only. Now the above the full section, which is the first thing people see when they come to your website. Nine out of 10 people read your headline. One out of 10 people read the remaining body copy on this website slash landing page. So it's very important that you get your headline right. Play clue and speak a new language quickly and easy, easily. Well guys, this is super big. It's not showing me that direct end outcome I'm gonna be getting from purchasing this particular product. More importantly, it's not showing any social proof in terms of other people who have had massive success when it comes to learning a new language. Now, who is this product for? Is it for individuals like this individual who looks like a teen? Or is it for young children? Is it for teachers? Is it for parents? Like, who is this product for? So immediately I have a blur of questions that go unanswered, meaning I will bounce within seconds if I came to this particular website. The attention span of people today is less than five seconds. So if within five seconds, you don't have a hook and a headline that is very, very strong, bye-bye. So let's revise this and go from there. Now, if I was to change this headline myself, I would say something within the lines of an exciting, stimulating, multi-language word game that teaches children within the ages of four to six years old, within six weeks, 350 words on average. Damn. And the subtext specifically designed scoring charts that allow children of all ages from four to six to compete against one another. Young children can play against adults and win. Why is this super powerful? Well, it's concise, it calls out an audience, it speaks specifically to that end desired outcome, and immediately you know what the offering is. There's no more questions, there's no more concerns. You've seen and heard enough to at least scroll down a little more. In terms of the imagery, we would be looking at parents, teachers, playing the game with children four to six years old, because subconsciously we can cue that, hey teachers, hey parents, this product is for you to pull out your credit card, and then in terms of who it's suitable for is your children or your students. That will definitely enhance the, the reception of the message. This is super important because what makes your headline stand out from anyone else on the internet and never say it's because your product or company is called something different. If you're selling a similar solution to someone else, what's gonna make them buy your offer over your competitors? I'll tell you what it is, a unique selling proposition. And what I did in the headline that I crafted is I pinpointed that unique selling proposition. The second thing I would do within this above the fold section is demonstrate authority so people know you guys are the real deal. Because people always have these questions that are just going through their head. Did this company just start? Does X even work? Why should I trust them? And you don't want those questions wandering in one's head. So what you can do to combat that is obviously have your unique selling proposition front and center, but also showcase social proof trust, authority, and other sources of credibility. So if we scroll down, you can see these guys have a bunch of credibility badges. You can call it PR badges. What we can do is we can take all of this, literally this one section, and bring it right here. So once people come to this website or landing page, they immediately know, all right, this game is proven. It's won awards. People are talking about it. No one wants to be the one-off individual who tries something from the get-go right? Yes, there are individuals, but that just accounts for a small percentage of the market. Most people are what we call early majority, late majority segments. And those are individuals who usually buy into products or services that are already proven. Now, moving down, this is the benefit section, which we definitely are a big advocate of. But the big problem here is there's just way too much text and it's way too difficult for one to immediately understand what you're offering. Now, we always say a confused mind never buys. And if you expect your audience to burn calories trying to understand your offering, you're in for surprise. Let the game help you speak a new language, very vague. And then they have a lot of other text that is just not contextual to the actual benefits. So what we would do here is create three benefit driven points with icons and it would go as follows. Helping children learn a new language within six weeks, reclaiming a child's confidence in school, and then increasing reading levels a whole grade. We've done a great job explaining to parents, students, and other individuals who would be recipients of this particular product, what that end outcome is. Now moving down, 
um, all of this stuff is not really important because it's just once again way too much text we should have one image showing individuals actually utilizing the product and then features one feature here image feature I love this section though because social proof that doesn't handle objections or leaves people saying that's it is a big mistake a lot of e-commerce businesses are making today amazing social proof has put some of our pages in the hall of fame when it comes to conversions Poor social proof scares people away because it puts doubt in your offer so you should be putting out your best case study the best results on your page and if you settle for anything less your visitors won't fall in love with your solution or they'll try to find something else that will do x better in a faster time your social proof makes you stand out from your competition and if it doesn't you're losing more and more sales now good social proof has different client portfolios that resonate with different angles of your ideal clients and this is exactly what these guys have done and i absolutely love it so this is the profile right client profile profile which is the parent here we have another one which is the teacher and then we have another one which is a student okay now within each of these testimonials these reviews my son has picked up more vocabulary than he had in a year of lessons at school I say it to my students, what shall we do? Nine times out of 10, the answer is clue. Absolutely love it because now they're actually answering objections with statements throughout, right? And going a step further, they have qualitative points and quantitative points. Very, very, very great job in demonstrating these reviews. I am sure this has really upped the conversions on this particular uh, website. And that's, that's strictly because they know who their audience is and they know some of the objections people are facing. And through these statements, they address all of them. Just to make it a little more applicable to you guys that are listening, here are some questions to ask past clients or customers when you're gathering social proof. The specific results they got, we're looking for numbers here. The pains that they solved by taking your offer, the life they live now because of it, what they like most about your offer, and most importantly, would they do it again? The easiest way to get these responses is to incentivize people. Give them a one-on-one -on -one call, give them a discount, give them a payment plan, give them something that's gonna get them to actually speak because these reviews, they will pay you tenfold. Taking a step further, if you can get video testimonials from your clients, well, guys, that speaks much louder than the actual written reviews. And the reason for that is when we look at something that is video-based, Retention is 77% higher than text based. So that's just something else to take into consideration. Now, I would, in, in this section, really speak on what we do for teachers versus what we do for parents, because the derived benefit each of those audiences are looking for is completely different. Okay. So if they can do that, well, now when they do run ads, teachers know exactly what they're going to be getting. And then parents also know exactly what they're going to be getting. And that is going to enhance the reception to their message. Now they've done a very poor job explaining step-by-step -step how this game works. When I scroll down, they show it in a different tab and they do a pretty good job here explaining it, but there's way too much text. So you can't fit this into the homepage, but we have to fit it in the homepage. So step one, make a sentence. Step two, build your vocabulary. Step three, say it out loud. Bam. If you incorporate that within people will understand, Hey, it's as easy as one, two, three. People want easy. Remember that they don't want something that's complex, especially if you're going after a segment like children ages four to six. So that's definitely something we need to incorporate within this home page. And then, I mean, this is horrible. Um, there's no reason why you should have a contact us page unless teachers are buying in large quantities, maybe having like a wholesale form like here, wholesale inquiries. And then here you should have another huge call to action, which says, guys, act today and get 10% off our signature clue game okay because remember they've sort of crafted this as a landing page so we need to evoke some scarcity some urgency now what bothers me is on the very bottom they don't have a frequently asked questions board games always have a lot of questions and inquiries so people are obviously thinking about um, a lot right now when it comes to getting to the very bottom and then you asking them to take that next step so I would do some surveys just asking my existing clientele like some what were what were some of the immediate questions you guys had and address all those questions um, so your cold audience isn't worried about taking that next step we've always seen the frequently asked questions being on the very bottom a great location because at this stage you've probably done a good job addressing all objections it's just some lingering questions that may uh, pop up and if you can just address what you haven't addressed in, in the rest of the sections of your websites then uh, you're you're off to the races so that's what we would do there and I mean they, they don't have a video right we've seen videos 
on average increase the idea of remembering a particular product slash service by 77%. So if they could embed a video, like an explainer video that shows people everything we've talked about here today, well, I mean, they, they save a lot of uh, work they need to do on this particular landing page. So that is another thing we would definitely look at. Now, a big thing these guys can also do to increase conversions is adding a risk reversal section. A risk reversal section, such as a guarantee, shows that you're willing to take the risk instead of your customer. And that's very, very important because people are a little skeptical with everything they see online. So your product, um, if they don't have some type of guarantee, it's it's a no-no for them. So maybe try it free for 30 days. I mean, that's the, try it risk-free for 30 days. Yes, you'll, you'll get some people who ask for refunds. That's always gonna happen. But if you display your offer well on your page and you add that guarantee in, then people should know what they're getting into and they're not going to refund as much so how you go about adding a guarantee i mean there's a ton of resources online but just get creative don't just say 100 percent money back guarantee uh, find a way where you can specify how that sort of is tailored around your product like if these guys have statistical data that you can learn 350 what your child can learn 350 words within six weeks if your child does not learn 350 words within six weeks we will refund you 150 percent i mean how do you say no to that? And that's the biggest thing within any landing page is make an offer so good, people would feel stupid to say no to it. Now to wrap up, I would give this page on a scale of one to 10, a two out of 10. I definitely see the benefits of the product, but I had to do way too much research. Outside of just looking at this page, trying to understand what this product is gonna do, I actually had to spend minutes of my precious time reading through all of this gibberish to understand their offering. And because of that, I think a lot of people will definitely bounce off this page and that's costing them massive amounts of conversions. If I was to guess this, this page is not converting higher than 0.5%. With some of the suggestions made, this page will convert higher than 4%. So the room for improvement is massive. Clue Games, if you guys are watching this, reach out to us because we can do something magical for you guys. And what I hate, I absolutely hate, is seeing precious ad dollars being wasted on, on, on unoptimized landing pages. I will talk to you guys soon. This is Cam from Slavex Media. If there's anything we can do when it comes to your landing pages, when it comes to your websites, to get you guys more conversions, to reduce your advertising costs, to increase your average order value, feel free to reach out and I will give you a free audit, free of charge.